You know, I grew up in the era of Frank Rizzo, and uh, especially what he did to move, you know, he framed the move nine, you know, calls that uh, invasion back in 1978 when they raided the help, uh, the move headquarters. That's why you have nine move people in prison, innocent move people in prison. They've been in prison now for four, 40 years, gone up 40 years. And it's because of Frank Rizzo, Rizzo and his racist tactics. He was real brutal in the black community. I was a porter back in the day. And coming from a move demonstration, I, I remember riding over the bridge, 30th Street Bridge, the police rode by me and shot at me because they knew I was always out there, you know, standing up for the rights of black people, standing up for the rights of move. And, you know, they would use all these different tactics to try to intimidate people. But, you know, me personally, they could never intimidate me. You know, I ended up becoming um, the leader of the whole movement for 17 years in Philly, which led many different campaigns uh, around police brutality. But we're here to expose Rizzo as a racist. People trying to defend, even back in the day, Rizzo was calling for white people to come out for white power. You know what I mean? Against the black communities. I mean, just clearly shows you how racist it, he is. You know, so we want to continue to expose him, expose him, and that statue definitely needs to come down. And I appreciate that uh, city council person calling for that demand, and we, I, we unite with that, and I'm here to see that it comes down as well. So, do you think the mayor will actually um, have it down? I don't know. Or will it just be a conversation? I think, I think the mayor, he's going to go with which way the, the wind is blowing. Like you know what I mean? If there's a large demand or whatever, you know, I think he'll go, he'll go that way. I hope, hopefully, you know, the right thing will kick in his brain and he'll demand to take that down because it's a racist image. Just like you have all these racist images around the nation, people are protesting against, they should come down and all the ones here need to come down as well. You know, because it's, um, it's an abomination to our, to, it's disrespectful to us as a people. You know, we demand that this shit comes down. Absolutely. This statue is very offensive to me because of how he treated our people um, when he was um, in charge. Um, and the fact that people say he's not racist, it's, it's just baffling to me that people can defend his work when you see his practices, you see how he targeted our communities, you see what he did to our communities, and you still want to stand up and say he's not a racist. Like, I don't understand that mentality on how you could just deny the clear facts of his actions, you know what I'm saying? It, it just makes no sense to me. Well, they just try to disguise it by saying he hired a lot of black policemen. But, you know, these black policemen and police in general, they're, you know, they're like an occupying army in the black community. They're not there for us. You understand what I'm saying? They're here, they're there to spy on us. You know what I mean? And they represent the system. They don't represent the African community in general. I'm not saying you don't have... I, I, if they are good cops, why aren't they ever standing up, speaking out against the bad cops? The ones that murder and brutalize black people every day. And they see that every day. But I've never, I've never, I haven't seen one of them stand up yet and speak out about that. So if they're good cops on the police force, where are they? Why don't they speak out? What are they scared of? Different mentality that it seems hard. It seems it seems challenging. I don't say hard because the only thing hard is. Because